If I had to say the one difference between clients that are successful that I mentor and the ones that are not, and this is for people in general, not just my clients, it really comes down to commitment. You know, we can also use the word hunger. It's the same thing. People that are not committed and hungry, they don't succeed. And there's nothing that I can do about that. You know, you can't, even as a mentor, you can't give someone hunger and commitment. You, you can inspire them. You can show them through your own life experience and your own example. You can talk to them, you can mentor them, you can reason, you can give them. But if they're not committed and hungry, you can't force them to live a, live a positive, courageous life and have a, you know, a, a relentless work ethic. So it comes down to commitment. So if you're wondering right now why you're not succeeding in your life, whether it's business, it's fitness, it's relationships, so it, it doesn't matter what industry and career, it's probably because you're not committed enough. You don't want it more than the part of you that doesn't want it. And it's because your fears are getting in the way. So that's the reason why. And when you are committed, you will go through the pain, the trials, the tribulations, the loneliness, the doubt, the, the shame, the, what we, anyone's got to go through. And you will appreciate it and you'll get there and you know, you'll be the kind of person, you'll have the character um, that it takes to succeed in life and to be a better person and give and to overcome what you're dealing with, to prove the people that put you down wrong, that said you're not good enough, you can't do it, whether they bullied you physically, that's what happened to me, or they said negative things happened too. You, you'll succeed, or if you want to be a better person, it, what, it doesn't really matter what the case is, it's the same principle. It's about commitment and hunger. And I learned that a very long time ago when I was at rock bottom and I was looking for answers and teachers. You know, there was a lot of things that I didn't have. I wasn't the most talented person. I didn't believe in myself all the time, but I was so driven. I was so committed. I was so hungry. And I've still got that hunger now at 40, at 40 years young. And when you've got that, you know, it's more powerful. Strategy is important, don't get me wrong, but strategy without commitment is, is useless. Worth it's, it's useless. You could have the best strategy in the world if you can't be able to apply it. No, it's not gonna work. You have to work the strategy. You have to be hungry. You've got to want it. You've got to go through the trials and tribulations that we all have to go through. It doesn't matter who we are, where we're from, what, what our stories are, the principles are the same work ethic, hunger, determination, uh, being willing to fail your way to success, not giving up, going through the challenges, you know, not letting people put you down, all of it, the highs and the lows. Now that's my story again, and this is part of my teaching, passing this knowledge on. But you know, when you're so hungry, you, no one can stop you. No one can stop you other than your negative self. You know, it's all about discipline. Discipline, all these things derive from the hunger, the commitment, the, the desire, the passion, the will, the motivation, the drive, the, the values, the faith. All these things come from a very deep place intrinsically within a person. And it's not external. You can't get it on Amazon. It's not a phone, a house, a car. It's, it's a spiritual thing. It's, it's deep within a person's heart, their character, their psyche, their, their heart. It's something deep within. And it's, um, it's hard to articulate it. Sometimes I can get it. People know it deep down. And that's why we get inspired by people that have got a great work ethic. Even if you don't like them, you might not like their personality, but you will respect their courage, their spirit, their resilience. And if you've got that, you can succeed in anything in life. Pretty much anything, most things you can succeed in. You will feel great when you, but it takes courage. You've got, you've got to face life and death, love, life, death. You, everything has to be faced with those emotions, with those thoughts, with your stories, with now. If you've got the commitment and the hunger and the desire and the passion, and you're a good person and you want to do good and you want to succeed, you're going to get there.